Hi guys, so in this video, I want to do a voiceover for my previous video as many of you guys have requested the same. Uh, you guys must have seen the today section in the app store and uh, the nice animations it has. So I wanted to replicate the same for this app. So as you can see here, I'm creating a namespace for our animation. So this animation uh, namespace will be used throughout the app. So all the animations that we will have in this app uh, are going to reside in this one namespace animation. So that SwiftUI can easily look up the animation pairs that it wants to animate together. So as you saw here, we created a state object called selected object. So this will uh, let us keep track of the uh, the yoga that we picked from the screen and we will show the details detailed screen of that yoga pose. So you saw here that like we passed animation object that we created in the main view to the today view as well. So that the same namespace uh, we will keep using in a new view. Here we passed the state object as the environment variable to the uh, today view so that it can the same state object can be used in that new view. And you saw here that like we embedded the tab view and the detail view in the Z stack so that the detail view can cover the whole tab view so that the bottom tabs are also covered by the detail view when it's shown.
So you just saw that I declared the uh, selected object at the top with environment object tag. And that's how you get the selected object in this view. You don't have to uh, ha have it as a parameter or anything. Just declare that it's there in the environment object and you pass it in the previous view. That's all. We wanted to have a vertical grid layout of one column that should be scrollable and it should show the card view for each yoga that's there in that array. And we keep passing the animation. As you can see here, nothing shows up on the screen. That's because we don't have the images corresponding to the uh, names of the yoga that we have given in that array. So we will import those images. Uh, we can see that the images show up and they are scrollable too but we also want to have a title for each card so next we are going to add that So we use ZStack again to show our title in front of the card. So it shows up over the image in that card.
So we quickly made our detail view, uh, copying things from uh, the card view. And now we are able to see our detail view while tapping on the card. So currently our detail view doesn't look that nice. So we will work on improving it. So here on tapping the image again, we will toggle the is showing a boolean on the state object so that we can switch to the home view again. As you can see here, now we are using the animation namespace that we have been passing throughout the views in the matched geometry effect. What, what we are saying essentially is that uh, these two view images that, you, that are in two different views are actually the same. And we are telling Swift UI that the IDs of these two views are same, so you should animate them whenever one view transition to the other. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video. So the app is actually published on the App Store. You can check it out. I'll post the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer all of your questions. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.